Hello. Today we're going to be discussing adding a new 2022 server as a domain controller with an existing server 2012 domain controller. Now, whether that's an R2 or a standard, it does not really matter. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to Azure, to Active Directory Users and Computers, And here's my domain. We right click it and we want to make sure that the domain functional level is at least at 2008. If it's less, it's not going to work. So mine is at 2012. That's the highest for this server because it's at 2012. So I'm good. If you're less, you'll find that drop down here. And basically, you have to have at least 2012, 2008. Once this is done, you spin up a new machine, a 2022, or a server 2019, or a server 2016. It's all the same process. This is my machine. And if I go and look at it, as you can see, it's Windows Server Data Center 2022. It can be standard as well. doesn't matter. It's all the same process. That's the name of my machine. It is joined to the domain. So now what I need to do is add a role in order to get it done. So go to manage on server manager, go to add roles and features. Next, next, make sure you're choosing the correct domain, the correct machine here. In my case, it's app DC 22, which is correct. So we're going to choose active directory domain services. If you want to also make it a DNS server, you can. Oh, it's telling me that this machine does not have a static IP address. In production, of course, you would have a static IP address, but in my case, I'm just going to ignore it because it's just a lab. But usually you would have to have a static IP address on the server. Click Next. Just go with the default. Next. And Install. And I'm going to pause this video until this is done. And so now that it's done, I'm going to hit close. I'm going to go here and say, promote the server to a domain controller. Now, what I'm going to choose is add a domain controller to an existing domain, because as you know, we have the 2012 domain controller. So I'm going to go here. We're going to have to supply a user with schema admin and enterprise admin privileges. So if I go to my domain controller, I have this user, Sync Lab, and this Sync Lab is a member of the schema admins and the enterprise admins. So that's the, that because we will be uh, uh, expanding the schema. So that's why you need this. So I'm going to change this to Sync Lab. And I'm going to put in the password. And we hit next. Now here, I'm going to add a restore mode password. If you have multiple subnets with different sites, you can choose it here. I only have the default site. Click next. Click next. Replicating from, I only have one domain controller, which is this one. But if you do have multiple domain controllers, you can choose a specific domain controller. Maybe a, a, a distance-wise, it's the closest, or just choose any domain controller. Click Next. This is the default uh, NTDS and SysVol locations. Next. All right, so that's what that's why we needed those uh, permissions because it's going to do forest and schema preparation and domain preparation. So we click next, and here basically it's just confirming what we chose, and we're going to click next. And it's going to run pre-requests and make sure we're ready.
All right, all prerequisites checks passed successfully. Click install to begin. So I'm going to go ahead and click install. And I'm going to pause until it comes back and we'll see you then. All right, so the installation completed and now it's rebooting. Uh, we'll just wait until it comes back. But in the meantime, if we looked at Active Directory users and computers and domain controllers, as you can see, my new machine is now a DC. And let's try to log into it. Uh, we need to log in. Now it's logging in on the default account. Let's add the domain account. So now we're logging in with the domain admin credentials to the machine and we're going to open Active Directory Users and Computers. Take a look there. All right, so this is a new, new server. And if I go to Active Directory Users and Computers, As you can see, this is Sync Lab. This is the uh, domain, and now it's uh, it's part of the domain. And now our task is done. Now, unless you plan to demote or decommission the 2012, you are all set. Uh, I'm gonna make sec a second part, which I'm gonna show you how to decommission the old machine uh, in the right way and the best practice. So stay tuned and watch the second video if you uh, if you have to thank you for watching please support this channel by subscribing liking and sharing and we'll see you in the next video